Hey guys, my name is Evan and welcome to Country View Acres. So the snow has stopped last night and we ended up with about five or six inches of snow on the ground here. And today is way better of a day to plow snow. And that's what we're gonna be doing today. We just got done cleaning off the concrete here in front of the pole barn, a little bit of the concrete in front of our house. And now we're gonna start tackling the driveway. See if we can get the driveway plowed and get every, all the snow pretty much cleaned up so that it's easy to get around the property. So our driveway is about a quarter mile long. And you can see the only tracks we have in it is from doing uh, the animal chores last night and this morning. And other than that, it hasn't really been touched. So hopefully this will plow fairly easy since it's not tracked up very much. And one thing I will say is the property, we don't get snow all that often, but when we do, it just looks, it looks pretty cool. It looks amazing, especially back over here where there's all these uh, cedar trees back there. They just hold the snow and everything looks pretty good. So as I was pushing the snow there in front of the pole barn, I've had the workshop heating up with the Alice Chalmers tractor in there. So hopefully it's warm enough now that I should be able to start it up and get to plowing. Definitely dressing warmer today working on this tractor because we're going to be out there in the wind. Probably be out there for several hours on this tractor today. So I'm layered up. So I've got thermals underneath everything. I think I've got three layers on. So I think ought to be pretty good. All right, we're gonna let the tractor warm up for about 10 minutes and then we'll get started plowing. Thank you. 
So we've had one lap down the driveway and several, several laps around the circle drive trying to take the snow and push it to the center. And the problem is, is as you take a left-hand turn, since the plow is on the back, the plow actually swings out to the right, kind of counteracts what you're trying to do. So it's almost better to take little swipes at it and try to just do like one side at a time because every time you turn, it almost wants to go to the right and then leave a pile of snow behind. And the other thing is, is the longer, you know, this sits, it gets more uh, thick. It's not as powdery. And the thicker this gets and the bigger the piles, it, the back of this plow, if you get enough on it, it'll actually start wanting to push the tractor sideways. And, and uh, it will, it will actually take the tractor and start pushing the, the, it sideways and uh, makes it really hard to plow as well. So uh, definitely got to get this done before this snow thickens up. I want to do it while it's still powdery, but the problem is we've got big enough pile over here. It was, it was wanting to push the tractor instead of pushing the snow. So I'm gonna go ahead and move these vehicles real quick. We'll take them, I'll try to park them over here on the concrete that we cleaned off. We'll try to clean off this section. And then after that, I think one more lap down the driveway and back, it'll help widen the driveway out. And I think that'll pretty much get it done. All right, one more lap, and I think that's gonna finish it up. Well, I was hoping once I got back to the house, I was going to be done, but I ended up, I got the tractor stuck. That's the problem with two-wheel drive tractors. I'll try it a little bit more. I may have to go get a tractor truck to help pull it out. Well, I discussed it in the last video that I don't have chains for the tractor and that may have helped in this situation, but that's one thing that just drives me nuts about these two wheel drive tractors. I mean, you get in a situation like this, they're just helpless. They can't pull themselves out. So I'm gonna have to go get, I guess I'll just grab the TYM and it's got chains in it. We'll hook up to it, try to pull it out.
Well, there goes Rebecca. Luckily, I had her here to help pull me out. I think that would have been a lot harder to do by myself for sure. I don't know if I would have trusted pulling on this while it was in neutral. And it just kept on wanting to go back into the ditch. Um, there's actually a culvert like right there. We were about to drop into the culvert. We were probably a couple feet from it. But luckily we got it out and uh, I just gotta finish this side of the driveway and be done with this. So let's get it done. All right, finally got the driveway done. So now it's time to play musical cars again, get all the cars moved around and get the tractors back into the pole barn and call it a day, I think. I think I've had enough excitement for today. So uh, um, in the last video, if you watched the last video, I explained that this, you know, this was the only blade that I have. It only fits the Alice Chalmers tractor. It's a snap coupler attachment. It's, uh, it only fits this. It won't fit a standard three point hitch. And also in the last video, we tried to adjust this wheel so it was inward. And as we were plowing today, um, the wheel actually spun back out. It's a spin out rim. And if you drive forward, um, if the mechanism isn't locked, the rim, rim on this side will spin out. If you go backwards, it'll spin in. It's how you adjust the width of the tire and the locking mechanism on there, the cam locks are still not holding tight enough and that wheel has shifted out. So there's, there's one of those that's actually not working at all and we're gonna have to take that apart. I think once we get all four cam locks on here working, we can get that tire to, and the wheel to actually stay in place where it's supposed to, but it actually shifted way out on us pretty early on while we were plow, plowing today. So the driveway doesn't look the best. Um, you know, it's not like we got all the snow off the driveway, but as long as you get a little bit of that gravel showing, the sun will hit that gravel, it'll heat it up, it'll just start melting the snow. And, and uh, you know, we'll see, you know, over the next day or so that uh, some of these areas will start cleaning up just from the sunlight being able to hit the gravel underneath the snow. The concrete over here that we cleared off, it actually had enough sunlight this morning that pretty much everything that was left on there has melted off over there. And uh, yeah, you give us a few days of some good sunlight and the driveway will look a lot better. But at least now we can get in and out we can go do our chores a little bit easier. And then any of the, the mail and delivery trucks and stuff like that will come to our house and drop stuff off. You know, if we don't plow the driveway, they won't drop off the mail. They won't bring it up to the house or deliveries. Sometimes they'll leave it, they'll leave it up with the billy goats and you'll find a package maybe wrapped in a plastic bag even um, and just set next to the billy goat pin up front or set next to the white pole barn up front we found mail in lots of different places around here especially if, if the driveway isn't plowed they're not going to drive all the way down here but uh, i think uh, like i said i think that's going to be it for me today i'm going to try to get everything rearranged and put up and uh, and i think that's it i think i'm going to relax the rest of the day Definitely was warm enough. I actually got to sweating in this outfit. It's uh, not as bad as yesterday at all. Um, I thought it was gonna be uh, pretty windy today, but it's been a beautiful day to work outside. So, um, but uh, yeah, I think that's it for me today. It ended up being more of a hassle than I thought it was gonna be trying to get this all plowed, but that's it guys. Thanks for watching.